Welcome back, everybody, to more Final Fantasy VIII for the PS3. Last time we played, we uh, got our first mission. We got to head to we had to head to Balam. So we we had to head to uh, Delhi, I believe. But before we do that, I want to mention that I learned an ability, which I'm going to talk about on the way there. Uh, it's a junctionable ability, and that ability is Encounter Half. Cuts encounter rates by half. Once you learn that ability from Diablos, I suggest you either learn Encounter None, which I probably need to do, or Muck. Now, honestly, I really regret stopping when I did, because I probably could have learned, like, these two straight off the bat. But time magic isn't a huge concern for me, so... There you go, that's why I didn't do it. Encounter None's really good. I turned on Encounter Half just so this game can start moving a little bit faster and we can start making some actual progress. Instead of having 20 minute videos where I regret not getting much done. <laughs> kind of annoying. So we need to get to the train stop. I actually got paid. They actually paid me in this game. Uh, occasionally you'll get a paycheck at the bottom of the screen that says how much money you were given. My seed rank apparently went up when I was... Uh, killing stuff to get AP, so that's interesting. I love how Spoonie brings us up that, you know, we're being paid to do this, but we still have to pay. And I don't actually have enough. Son of a bitch. How do I not have enough? Well, how close am I? If I'm not far off, I'm not... Okay, I'm not that far off, am I? Screw it. There. Now I know I have enough. Damn it, game. Why are you making me pay for this? Why aren't you paying? I guess the game fit. I guess the game assumes that if you're making good money as a soldier, you probably have the money to pay for it anyway. So, why should they pay for it? This is like the only time you ever have to pay for your own ticket from this point on. Anytime, I think anytime you use the train, within the context of the story, you don't pay for it. Now, if you choose to get on a train outside the context of the story, eh, it's out of your dime, buddy. Of course Squall's not interested, why would he? I love how just I love how just no 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 fucks are given by Squall right now. He just does not give a shit. Like why why even bother joining Seed if you're gonna be so dispassionate about it? I mean I know you're just hired hands, but seriously, have a little bit of fun, bro. I I guess Squall I guess uh, Zell likes the room, but we all know Zell's the true hero. Pet pals. Uh, we'll say I don't know too much. That's so. Well, let me fill you in. Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests, but 18 years ago, Galbadia invaded. Timber fell quite easily to Galbadia, so now Timber is under Galbadian occupation. It said there's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. And? Nope, that's it. <laughs> he knows, he knows, he knows just enough to make you disappointed in him. <laughs> like, he, he, he knows, he knows just enough for me to be like, you're really not that helpful. I'm not feeling well.
Uh oh. Yeah, folks, get used to this because this is going to be happening in choice parts of the game where our team is going to become comatose and we have to go through a dream segment. I think everyone here has all their junctions still, because they should be, because it's legit our team. Isn't it? Who the hell are you? Oh, okay, so... Then how come you have it? I know you're Squall. And you must be... Yeah, okay. You're the... You're Zell. Okay. I'll take it. Bum 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 bum. Even with encounter half, I still get some encounters. Oh, you gotta love the new music for this team. Honestly, I think their theme is actually a lot better. I do need to make sure I show you guys the limit breaks for these guys because they have entirely different limit breaks. I mean, they're entirely different characters. So, we'll get these guys taken care of. I'm probably not going to activate it right now because it takes forever. Oh. I gotta tell you, Ward's weapon is ridiculous. The dude's basically carrying around a boat anchor. Well, I guess it's technically a harpoon, but still. That's like the most... Like, people give Squall crap for the gunblade, but no one wants to talk about the fact that Ward literally carries around a massive harpoon. And, call, and he calls that a weapon. How metal do you have to be when, like, a gun, a sword, none of those things really get you off, but giant bone anchor that you just carry around with you and smash enemies with? Oh, absolutely. That's a, that's military, that's military assured right there. I love I love how they instantly jump to the conclusion that they're lost. Just there's no sense in even arguing. He's lost. We know it. He's all he always gets lost. Why would this be anything new for us? We've seen this happen so many times in the past. <laughs> None of them need it because they all have a hundred of it. That's hilarious. So, Squall's first new weapon that he gets, I'm going to be getting later on. Probably the second dream sequence. I can't get it now because it requires I have to card one very particular enemy in order for me to even have access to it. Really annoying, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I just wanted to have a friendly drink with you two. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that. I love how he just parks right in the middle of the road and causes like a 40 car pileup. Like right there. That's... These are... <laughs> these are our heroes, folks. The Three Musketeers. I mean, calling them Musketeers, I feel like I've just insulted the writer of the Three Musketeers. He's, he's rolled in his grave so hard. But these are our heroes. Oh, goodness. Guess it's not this way. I'm sorry, I haven't had to play this segment in a very long time. Uh, believe it or not, Final Fantasy VIII is not the Final Fantasy I pick up whenever I want to relax. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII is the RPG I pick up when I want to break a video game. And believe me, Final Fa like I mentioned in the first episode, Final Fantasy VIII is hella broken. Like, on every level. Even on a conceptual level, Final Fantasy VIII is a broken video game.
but while I call it broken, I'm not calling it bad, and that is something I need everyone to understand when I say the game is broken. Yes, the game is absolutely busted. Busted beyond belief. But you know what? To me at least, it's still a good game. It's still a game I would tell Final Fantasy fans to at least try. Give it a shot. Yes, does the, does the story a little bit convoluted? Oh, absolutely. It's absolutely busted and convoluted. It makes absolutely no sense, but you know what? I'm playing it now, and honestly, I'm starting to understand why I played it so much as a kid. Go back on your word. Go on. Come on, go wave door. We got this. We got this. We can. You got this. Don't be afraid. Just, just kiss the. Go oh wait, wrong movie. Um, um. Hi, my name is Laguna. Nice to meet you. Well, she's playing now. She's not going to pay attention to you. She's playing. Oh, God. I love Ward in the background. He's laughing. He's just like, Welp, Laguna strikes out again, ladies and gents. Another sad night by himself with a couple of porno magazines. Mission is successful. Was it really a success? Was that really a success? I don't think so. Um, I've I've struck out with women in my life. That was not that was not what I would consider a success. I'm huh, a negative three on the manliness scale. Yeesh, negative three. You can't recover from that, boy. Negative three. Once you hit negatives, dog, you can't you can't just recover. There is no recovering from a negative three on the manliness scale. You are officially a woman. See, that's real bros for you. They see the girl coming over to talk to them. And what do they do? They don't stick around. They don't wait. No. They play their position like true homies. They get up and they leave. They're like, oh, oh. homeboy's getting some tonight. That's a, that's a true wingman. As soon as he sees that shit's going down, he backs off, does his job. You know why? Because they're they're true wingmen. Now what happens next, however, is not a true wingman. That is, this is ridiculous. <sighs> oh, good job, Laguna. Christ. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, guys. Not even not even subtle. You, you can you can you can pay attention and not be this subtle Jeez, not be this not subtle Jesus Christ <clears throat> Laguna you are ridiculous uh 
I love how the subtext is, this is a dream, this is a dream, I'm dying right now. He talks to himself too much. <laughs> I just want to give you all a... Uh, a stern talking to next time you all play wingman don't listen to my conversations that's messed up jesus christ i gave them all that credit for being proper wingman they still fuck it up laguna lori I'm not going to go into any of the uh, the big revelations that this game is going to have, which is ridiculous I'm not going to, because I'm, I'm assuming... <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I just saw that peak on my... Uh, <laughs> on Audacity. Oh, Jesus. Massive coughs, folks. <laughs> well, I guess it was she was bound to notice eventually. I mean, you do kind of stand out when you're wearing an outfit. Well, you know, at least he's loosened up. A little bit of wine tends to uh, give a man the right amount of courage. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I want to sing, not just play the piano, but sing too. Then why don't you? I mean, no heart, no hurt in trying, but I can't. I'm no good at writing lyrics. Yeah, that that would be that would be the tough part. But thanks to you, I think I can come up with something. Laguna, new orders made at me by the presidential residence on the double. Damn. Perfect timing. Train announcement. Oh, timber. Cool. Oh, Jesus. Maybe someone will release some sleeping gas. There are lots of people who resent seed. Yeah, but you'd all be dead. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? I don't think so. What a relief. Everything's cool with me. 
I had such a nice dream. I had a dream too. It wasn't nice though. I dreamt I was a moron. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. But our first mission comes first, and then we can deal with the massive issue of how we all had the same dream. And Jesus Christ, how am I already at 20-something minutes? Seriously, I don't feel like this should have taken me that long. Why do we have to stand here and wait as the train takes off? I never understood why they make you do that. There's a lot of, like, arbitrary waiting in this game. Oh, the forest, uh, forest of timber sure have changed. But the owls are still around. Welcome to timber, sir. Come with me, sir. Yeah, that's his gimmick. He says sir after everything. How dare, how dare you assume my gender? Wait, I'm not gonna go for that joke. That's, that's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. So this for, this, this resistance has their own train mobile station. What? I mean, that's, that's awesome. But how do you maintain a train though? That can't be cheap. Yeah, Squall doesn't really shake hands. Not really his his bag, you know. He doesn't really he doesn't do that. Is that like a gimmick now? Like no one shakes Zell's hand. Probably don't know where it's been. These guys are the resistance, huh? Oh dear. I, uh, I don't know how much help I'm gonna be for you guys. If you guys are the best the resistance can come up with. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. Till next time, stay tuned for more Final Fantasy VIII here on Rare Stones Gaming. And we're gonna save it here. I always keep three save files. I always, I rotate out saves. So that way, no matter what happens, I can always go back to a previous save without worrying about it. Anyways, guys, till next time, see you all on the flip side.